To perform our nation's most ambitious exploration of this decade, a manned exploration of the moon, the Saturn V space vehicle is under development by NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center and the country's industrial might. At Huntsville, Alabama, the Saturn V booster is undergoing captive firings. To assure the proper flight performance of these enormous rockets, exacting tests are conducted long before flight time. This stage alone is 140 feet long and 33 feet in diameter. The full Saturn V vehicle will stand 364 feet tall, higher than the Statue of Liberty. This first stage, fueled, will weigh almost 5 million pounds. The stand where the hot firings are conducted is anchored in bedrock in the ground to withstand the powerful thrust of seven and one half million pounds during firing. Here the 140 ton unfueled stage arrives at the static test site. The five huge F1 engines have not yet been attached. To erect this stage, the world's largest and most powerful, the stand has two cranes which will place the vehicle in its firing position. The delicate job begins, lifting of the stage into the test stand. When in place, instrumentation is connected to all parts of the booster. To record results of the test, over 1,200 channels of measurements will be transmitted to the recording instruments in the blockhouse located a safe distance from the stand. Complete control of the test is maintained by personnel in the blockhouse. The propellant tanks will be filled with 4 million 400,000 pounds of kerosene and liquid oxygen. The life of this stage in flight will be two and one half minutes. After it boosts the upper stages and the three astronauts in the Apollo spacecraft to 5,000 miles an hour at an altitude of 40 miles, the booster will be separated and discarded. The upper stages then take over the mission of sending the astronauts to the moon and to outer space. The five huge engines are next installed and checked out. During the test firing, the outer four engines are gimbaled to test their capability for guiding the Saturn V during an actual flight. The test time has arrived. Water is run through the flame deflector to prevent its melting. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. <laughs> 